Novak Djokovic versus Ben Shelton is the first semi-final for the Men's US Open for 2023. Both guys have had impressive roads to get to this stage. Shelton entered the tournament unseeded and would take on Cashin in the first round. And after dropping the first set, would fight back to win 1-6, 6-3, 6-2, 6-4. In the second round, he'd take on Dominic Team. And after a close first set, Team would have to retire sick. 7-6, one love, retirement. In the third round, he'd take on Karatsev. And after splitting the first two sets, Shelton would come back to win 6-4, 3-6, 6-2, 6 love. Fourth round, he'd take on Tommy Paul, a man that he'd played in the quarterfinals of the Australian Open earlier in the season. After taking the first two sets, Shelton would eventually get through in four, 6-4, 6-3, 4-6, 6-4 to advance to another Grand Slam quarterfinal. In the quarterfinals, Shelton would take on the number 10 seed Tiafo, who had a really good run to this stage. And after splitting the first two sets, Shelton would save set point in the third to get through in four, 6-2, 3-6, 7-6, 6-2 to advance to his first Grand Slam semifinal. Djokovic started the tournament as a number two seed and would take on Muller in the first round. There was no problem getting through in straights. 6-love, six 6-2, six six 3 In the second round, he'd take on Marias. And again, no problem getting through in straights. 6-4, six 6-1, six one, six one. In the third round, he'd take on the 32 seed Jera, who he'd had a battle with last year in Belgrade. And this was no different, with Djokovic having to come back from two sets of love down, eventually getting through in five. 4-6, four 4-6, six, four six, six one, six one, six three. In the fourth round, he'd take on the qualifier Goyo, who'd been very impressive to win this many matches to this stage. And after a close second set, Djokovic would get through in straights. 6-2, Two, seven, five, six, four, to advance to the quarterfinals. In the quarterfinals, Djokovic would take on the number nine seed Fritz, a man he destroyed in Cincinnati a couple of weeks ago. And even though Fritz put up a fight in the third, Djokovic would get through in straights. 6-1, six, 6-4, six, four, six, four, to advance to the semifinals again. These guys have never played before, and that's of course because Shelton is so young and so new to the tour. In only his fifth Grand Slam match, he's playing a semifinal. Of course, Djokovic has played more semifinals at slams than anybody else in the history of the game, so there's going to be a hell of a clash. If Shelton's going to win this one, he needs to serve big, and he needs to use the crowd. In fact, he actually used the crowd against Tiafo so well, even though they're both from America. He is the excitement machine, and this crowd are going to want to get hit behind him as well. He needs to serve big and hit big ground strokes and push Nolay around. If Djokovic's going to win this one, he needs to block out the crowd and just play his game. He might not win the first set, but he needs to wear Shelton down. He can do that if he plays a long match. And of course, we know Djokovic can go the distance with anybody and maybe just wear down Shelton, maybe get frustrated and get some errors. I'm so pumped for this matchup. The young buck versus the goat. It's going to be so much fun to watch Shelton and what he can do against Djokovic. Massive serve, massive returns. I'm going to go with Djokovic, though, in four. I think Shelton gets a set, maybe the first set or the second, and gets that crowd behind him. But I think Djokovic, in the long run, will get the win in four. But let me know down in the comments below who's making the final.